Courts for Kids started building courts in 2006. Really, I feel like the need found us. It began when we received a, a call from the Philippines asking if my husband, Derek Neslin, would come over and bring a basketball team to play against um, Filipino teams. He emailed back and said, um, I don't play any longer. However, I do work with students and I would be willing to bring them over to build a court if that was a need. We certainly would be willing. We received three emails the very next day um, from three different communities in the Philippines all saying, please come to our community. So, uh, spring break of 2006, we um, took a group of students and adults and did just that, built a court, and it went really great. We had a great interaction with the community as well. We came to a moment where my husband and I, Derek, looked at each other and said, is this it for us? Is this what we are compelled to do, what we're called to do? And we decided, um, yes, it is. So officially, in fall of 2007, we launched Courts for Kids. Since the formation of Courts for Kids, uh, we have built courts all over the globe. Wherever there is a need, we try to meet that need. We have built courts in India, um, Uganda, Ghana, Tanzania, Rwanda, the Philippines, Indonesia, Cambodia, Peru, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, Jamaica. Really, any, any place where there is a need, uh, we try to, um, to meet that need. It's important that we don't, we're not viewed as Americans coming to do things for a community, but rather with a community. We believe that every child deserves the opportunity to have access to sports, but we also believe that every um, North American should have a immersion experience in the developing world. So we come with no agenda, rather we come as the students saying to the community, teach us. That means that we eat the community's food, we stay with the community, we build relationships, we hear their stories, we hear their struggles, we participate in their cultural dances. Uh, whatever that community has to offer, we are fully immersed and engaged in that all week long with the goal by the end of the week that students and adults will truly have a transformational experience. We are hoping that we are contributing to them developing empathy and compassion and an expanding worldview so that they can be um, different people back in the States. I'm Lisa Peterson, Peace Corps volunteer in Cambodia. About a year ago, a colleague of mine mentioned Courts for Kids uh, after I was approached by the school and the community for wanting to build a basketball court. The school decided they wanted a basketball court because six months out of the year, usually soccer, volleyball, the fields are flooded and there's nowhere for the students to play sports. The basketball court, being concrete, would allow the children to have a place to participate in sports, even during the rainy season. Building a court usually takes about four days, sometimes three. Working with the locals, it's a lot of um, manual labor. Um, it's really hard work. Most of our teams say it was also the most fun I've ever had. Leading up to the arrival of the volunteers, the community was extremely excited. We had teachers making arrangements, our school director was doing the contracting. The community members and students helped designate what area of the school we'd use. They helped clear the land. They helped gather the supplies. So everybody in the community had some part of the involvement and in the planning process. And they feel like it is not Americans coming in and building the court, it is their court. It's a team effort. Uh, one of Courts for Kids' values is that we are also empowering oppressed groups such as women and girls. Here in Cambodia, we continuously fight with gender roles. Uh, young Khmer females usually do not participate in sports like soccer and volleyball. It's usually a male sport. However, basketball tends to be a sport that females feel that they can participate in. So when we build a court and introduce new sports and um, new skills, we really encourage the girls to participate and they often do. And the studies have shown that if girls participate in sports, they stay in school longer. And that's important to us that we're contributing to their holistic being.
favorite part was probably opening up the court to all the kids, uh, for all the kids to play on. That was the most excited I've ever seen a whole group of people before. It made me feel happy, like all the hard work that we did paid off in the end. I'd say go for it. It's just experience unlike anything you'll ever have. The easiest way to get involved is um, you can find information about anything we have coming up on our website, including trips that are available, uh, open to really a group of 12 or more. Of course, we're always looking for people to partner with us financially, um, with their time, their talents, their resources. We are looking for people to connect us with or other organizations or other individuals who would be interested in going through the application process um, and hosting a group. I would say the best way to get involved is to come on a trip. When you experience it, this transformation, it's the best way to be involved. Mm -hmm.